Welcome to another Blender Geometry Nodes tutorial. In this video you will learn how to build a beginner-friendly procedural railroad track along a curve which is super easy to handle and edit. So without further ado, let's get started. So at first let's create a path and extrude an endpoint a couple of times to define the track for the rails. You can do that with the shortcut E. I do this while looking at the scene from the top to have the line flat on the ground. Now, after we have a line, we want to create the profile for the double rails. For this, I just add a plane with a mirror modifier and edit it into the rough shape of an hourglass. Delete the edges in between and convert it to a curve with the right-click menu. In the end, you should have two of these shapes as one curve object and they should be at the same distance to the origin. Make sure this object looks up along the z-axis like mine. Now we will assign these rail profiles to the path using geometry nodes. So open a new window and change it to the geometry nodes editor. Create a new group and add a curve to mesh node in between the input and output. Drag the rail profile object in the geometry nodes editor and connect its geometry output to the profile curve plug. The double rails are now applied on the curve and we can proceed with the boards below the rails. For that, add a Join Geometry node at the end and connect the group input directly into it. Now add a Resample Curve node in between that line. By this we create a lot of points on the original curve. Now we will copy boards on these points with an Instances on Points node. Add it after the Resample Curve node and also add a Cube node. Connect the Mesh output into the Instance input of the Instances on Points node. Now let's adjust the cube a bit in dimensions to make it look like a board. Ok, now we only have to fix the rotation of the boards. For this we just need an axis to rotation node. Add a normal node and connect it to the primary axis and a curve tangent node to the secondary axis. I changed the first axis to x and the second axis to y. When you scaled your cube differently, these axis assignments may be different. Now connect that node to the rotation input to align the boards correctly to the curve. This looks pretty fine. You could readjust the cube dimensions a bit now that you see it better. When you now change the path, you can see that the amount of boards doesn't change currently. Because we set a fixed amount in the resample curve node. Let's change that so it automatically fits the spline length. So add a spline length node and connect the length output to a math node on divide. And connect that result then to the count input. With the value slider in the math node you can now adjust the density of the boards on the railroad track. When you move now some control points you can see that the density stays the same. Now let's distort the curve a bit more extreme to check if everything works good. As you can see we can also change the height of the track like a roller coaster ride. When you do this, the curve will twist a bit. To get rid of this, just tilt a control point by selecting it and hit Ctrl T. Now you can rotate your cursor around the control point to tilt the curve there. By this you can easily repair these sections. You can also adjust and see the tilt value in the side menu you open with N in the category Item. When you click on a control point you can see its tilt value there and can change it by using the respective slider. At last we should do one more thing which is moving these boards down because they should lay below the rails. To do this we just add a translate instances node after the instances on points node. Reduce the z value a bit to lower the boards. If you want to close the ends of the rails just check the fill caps checkbox on the curve to mesh node. You can also add a smooth by angle node after that to make the rail top appear more straight and hard. And you're finished now with the geometry. You can slide in a set material node at any point to change the material of the geometry at that point. For example after the translate instances node for the boards and after the smooth by angle node for the rails. Now we're finished with the procedural railroad track. You can now just focus on the curve to build your rails along it. Thank you for watching and when you found this helpful feel free to subscribe to never miss a tutorial. Have fun railroading and see you soon.